in, in terms of the honeybee is imported from European Europe it's European honeybee um, and the, the bees only came in between 1622 and 1922 when they closed the border to any more importation so we have a very small genetic pool to begin with and then you have queen producers who are very good at what they do produce lots of queens but they're very tightly clustered and they trade stock back and forth so the genetic diversity we have maybe three to five hundred queens producing a million queens a year so we have a very small genetic pool that limits our ability to select for resistance to uh, new pests and new pathogens that might be coming along so increasing that genetic diversity and allowing the beekeepers to then select what works best for them in their area is really what we're trying to accomplish uh, having that narrow pool just reduces our ability to be able to select for new and different uh, resistant lines. Queens mate in flight, so it's really important to, if you want any kind of control for breeding work or research, to be able to uh, control the mating of a honeybee. By, by taking this class, being able to make specific crosses between uh, queens and drones, that's really important. It's a, it's a very specialized technique. You're dealing with something very small. We've worked out uh, artificial insemination with all kinds of domesticated animals. Honeybees are a little unique in that you're dealing with an insect, so it's, it's very tiny, precise, detailed work. So we're doing this under the microscope. We're collecting, extracting semen from the drones and inserting that into the queen's oviducts. And then in a week or so after that, she should start laying eggs. And then we can start um, evaluating the colonies they come from, looking for specific traits. Um, nice production, gentle temperament, good wintering ability, resistance to pests and diseases, things like that. And what we're trying to do here is increase the genetic diversity so we can try and find solutions to some of the pests that, and, and disease problems that bees have and give a, assurance to the growers that they'll have bees there ready for pollination when they need them. Uh, so if we can get bees that actually do a better job in pollinating and fly in weather like this, that's uh, an added be benefit. But one of the most important things is that we have uh, mechanisms other than just chemical control to uh, improve the, the health of bees and make sure that we have a re ready supply of pollinators when growers need them.